I think we're in for a good treat later tonight, boys and girls. Save your tears, honey. You're a motherfucking diva. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another vlog. It is Tuesday. So I'm gonna be vlogging for you guys all week. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get into some fun. So I just filmed a JLUX label clothing haul. Would you look at my living room? It is in shambles right now. Where's my table? This is the setup. Oh, there's my coffee table. Where's my plant? Why is my mirror out here and not my bedroom? I tried to film it in my bedroom, but there's just not enough room in there. It's so small. Imagine if I was to actually get a king bed. I have a queen bed in there and it takes up like the whole entire room. So I guess from now on my clothing hauls will be in my living room. Remind me, next time I move, I need two bedroom for sure. Oh guys, oh my God. If you follow me on Instagram, it's probably old by now, but I'm shook, okay? So, just a little bit of backstory. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you miss these stories, check out my legs. Look how bad my legs are. Oh my God. Uh, guys, my legs are in shambles. And I wasn't even pressed, like, so let me give you guys some backstory. You guys are probably like, what the hell is going on for the people who don't know what's going on? So I tried at home laser, laser hair removal. This was actually supposed to be a sponsorship, but I was trying it out because anything I sponsor on my channel, I try out before because I don't want to sell you guys bullshit. So I tried it out on my legs. And when I tell you it burned the shit, out of my legs I didn't know that this wasn't normal so I posted on my story and I was like guys this is the side effects like I don't know if this is normal and like a hundred of you were like girl that is not normal like I've had laser before there's people who actually went through the same exact thing and their burns have yet to go away and it's been months for them so I'm hoping I'm praying I'm actually about to go to Whole Foods now I had to finish filming this haul but I'm about to go to Whole Foods grab me some aloe I already have vitamin E I'm so upset and I'm so glad. I mean, if I would have put this on my channel and this would have happened to like one of my subscribers, I would have felt so, so bad. So not that I'm happy that it happened to me, but I'm glad that it happened to me and not one of you guys because this is, this is crazy. Like I'm really mad. Like good thing it's fall and winter. So I'm not gonna be wearing like a lot of shorts and my legs out because this is really ugly. Like hopefully it'll heal in the next few months. Um, if you guys know how to treat laser burns or burns in general other than I'm gonna be trying vitamin E, aloe, I might get some, what's that stuff that people rub, Neosporin? It, they burn a little bit, but they don't like, they're not extremely painful. So, I don't know guys. You know, I always try shit, like it's always me. I'm always the one, because I always try shit I'm not supposed to be trying. I try laser hair removal. You guys know I give myself Brazilian waxes. Like, I just need to stop doing it. So that's where I'm about to go. That was long-winded, but I had to let you guys know what was going on. But let me get out to Whole Foods and go grab this aloe so I can take care of my little legs here because this is a mess, guys. I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror just how bad. Like, it is so ugly like oh my god uh, oh, ah! so i was able to go to whole foods grab me two aloe leaves i cut them up put them in the refrigerator so i could use them for the next few weeks who knows how long this is going to take to heal but just beware in case you were thinking about at home laser guys so now I'm going out later. Actually later as in, I'm supposed to be meeting them at nine o'clock. And it's 8.15 and I'm about to make myself a smoothie. But I already showered and everything. My makeup, I'm not doing much to my face. Like I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. Like I don't feel like doing my makeup. And then I'm gonna go out. We're supposed to be going to this place called Fin and Feather. It's a 
fin and feather i think it's fin and feather it's like a little lounge hookah food good music you know that's my vibe i didn't even know there was some aggies in atlanta so two of my fellow aggies reached out i'm about to go with my old guy friend and another girl that went to a and t and we're gonna go out have some fun have some drinks I'm gonna make myself a smoothie get dressed and then head out so before i go y'all i'm weak because <laughs> Have y'all ever seen these little baby bananas? They are so cute. I was at Whole Foods, y'all. I just wanted some regular bananas, but they didn't have, like the regular bananas they had were all green. Like none of them were ripe and I wanted a smoothie today. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to go for these small little baby bananas. And hopefully they taste the same. Like hopefully they're not bitter or anything because Y'all probably like, why are you eating and you about to go eat? Y'all, I'm starving. Like, I haven't eaten since like 12 o'clock. It is 8 o'clock. I need to put some in my stomach. Especially if I'm going to be drinking before I eat. So, just a little something small. Does this taste the same? Let me taste it before I put it in this smoothie. Yep. They taste the same. It's so cute. Oh my God. I love these. See, Whole Foods be having the, the variety, okay? I ain't never seen these anywhere else. You gonna have to use about six or seven of these because they ain't nothing, but they're so cute. All the things you do to me, do to me, do to me. All right, y'all, I am ready to go all black. You know I love me a good all black or all white fit. Top is from J Lux label. If you've watched the haul, you've seen. This belt is from, what is this belt from? Over the summer. Zara, pants are from Zara. This little bag is actually from Amazon. Super cute. And then my heels are Steve Madden. Let's go have some fun. And y'all, I remember it's Taco Tuesday. Bitch, I'm excited. Okay. All right, man. Hey, this is a shot to G Ho. You feel me? Straight Aggies, man. Reunion. Aggie reunion. Yes, sir. <laughs> get out the shower like it's like the shower drains me it is friday i'm about to make myself i'm starving i need to make myself some breakfast and then i'm gonna do my hair and then i'm gonna head to the mall try to figure out which mall i should go to on a friday i don't know who i am going to the mall on a friday it's gonna be dumb packed and it's the day before halloween oh my god Let me make me some breakfast. So I just finished breakfast. I'm about to do my hair and then head to the mall. But shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have a little bit of beef with you guys, Nadula Hair. This hair is fire. However, I did not notice they sent me over a wig with no lace on it. Like there's just no, there's just no lace. It's just a, it's just a wig. So. 
We're gonna make this look cute as we can. I'm gonna put some cute curls in it. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm just gonna prop you guys up while I try to freak this wig real quick. Okay, so this is the finished product of the curl to hair. It actually looks really good. I'm just not a fan of the wigs without any lace. But if you're like a closure hair girl, like you don't like any glue or anything, this is the perfect wig for you. So check out my description box. Everything is going to be linked down there with all the links to the hair. The doula hair, like I said, I love it. But I'm going to need me some lace next time. So y'all going to have to write me down for some lace. Okay, but I love you guys. The hair is fire. I did all this curling in my outfit today. I'm actually gonna be wearing a hat. I did all that for what? <laughs> I did all that for what, okay? But it's cute, I feel like I have not had long hair in a long time, so this feels refreshing. Let me put my little boy outfit on and then we're gonna head to the mall. All right, so I'm definitely on some chill shit today. I'm just going to the mall, running some errands. I love chill sweatsuits sweatshirts sweatpants joggers if y'all know me like listen and this is fire quality if you like streetwear and like hoodies and all types of stuff this is from jk attire they actually popped up on my instagram like one of them sponsored posts but i ordered it and it was literally i think they're based in like the uk but when i tell you this was here in like three days like they overnighted this and it's fire quality, so if you like like streetwear and stuff like that, check them out because their stuff is fire. I'm probably gonna order like two more sweatsuits next week, but this is the little chill fit. And now we're gonna go to the mall. My heart is for the shit, but you you don't give life. Oh, 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 oh my god. I am not gonna find no parking. I really am not. Is there any more room for me in those jeans? I really hate that men watch my clothing hauls. Like, boy, on that fucking scooter. And I got cramps, guys. I don't know what's going on. It's a full moon. I have full moon periods. So, anytime. The thing is, I'm on birth control, but I missed my last few days of birth control whenever that happens. Your period be right at the front door knocking like you remember me. Swear to God. All right, bet. Bet, y'all, it didn't take long at all. Why is my camera like that? Like, y'all can't even see my face. Bet. All right. I need some, um, am I ashy? I need to figure out a plan. I need to go to Sephora. And I want also to go to Zara. That line in Zara be crazy as hell though. Like, I hopefully they got it together by now, but that line literally be so ridiculous. Oh God, I wish I had some medicine. Oh, shit, I don't have any medicine in here, just lip gloss. Oh my God. 
I was supposed to be vlogging for you guys, but I suck. I'm sorry. But I got some new goodies from Sephora. I'll show you guys when I get home. So I'm in Zara. I found these cute pants that they don't have. A large. That is so annoying. I know I cannot fit these. I might be. I mean, they're stretchy. What y'all think? I'm not doing it. What y'all think about these red pants? I think these would look cute with something. Y'all can't really see, but this line, like I thought, but I ain't got nothing else to do, so. I hate when I walk in somewhere and no one speaks to me. It's so rude. Look at these cupcakes. Looks so good. So I got a lot of stuff. Sorry y'all, vlogging in the mall is like trash because I be trying to focus, be mad people. But I got a lot of stuff, I'm gonna show you guys when I get home what I got. I got some cupcakes, ah! From that little cupcake spot in Lenox, it's called Cami Cakes. Hopefully it's not trash. I hate when workers, I hate when you walk into somebody's establishment and they don't speak. That almost made me not even buy nothing because that is so rude to me. Like, how you gonna see me walk in, see me see you and not welcome me and say, hello, how are you today? I still bought that little stupid funky cupcake. Hopefully they're good. The icing is good. Okay, it's good. Like, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait till I just got home. Like, I really couldn't wait. <laughs> I'm so greedy. That was fire, though. The workers are rude, though. I don't like that. Hi, guys. It's been a few hours. I went to go get some Thai food. And then I went to go take some pictures in this outfit because it's cute. And now I'm going to show you guys what I got from the mall. Do you guys want to see? I forgot what I got. Ooh, excuse me. Kombucha will make you burp like crazy. Sheesh. Okay, so Zara. I have some fun in Zara. This is cute. This is like, what is this? This is like a sweater but it like scrunches at the bottom. So it's like a crop sweater. That's cute, it was brown, it was only $26. So you know I had to pick it up. Then I got, I truly forgot what I got. Oh, I got a bodysuit. Why I get a bodysuit with no sleeves in it? In this weather. But <laughs> I got a bodysuit with no sleeves because it's a turtleneck, so it kind of balances out. It'll, it'll keep my neck warm, however them arms about to be cold, it's cream. This is cute. It's a cream color, it was 20 bucks. And then this is cute, I didn't even try it on. The thing I hate about Zara, the thing I hate about all stores right now, you can't try nothing on, so. I got this cute black jacket. It's like fake reptile. Pretty, it's black, it's shiny. It smells a little weird. I'm not feeling that. Oh, this is cute, what size did I get this in? Small? I just can't wear nothing thick under it like this. Okay. Let me go look in the mirror. Shoot. Y'all, this is actually gonna be dumb cute when I throw a fit together. Just, I mean, it just looks big as hell now because I have this sweatshirt under it. I will not be wearing, I probably won't wear anything under this because I'm gonna button down, let my cleavage show, wear some high boots probably. Yes. You. This was how much was this? I think this was $70. And then, oh, I got these pants. These, oh, I got these brown legging pants. They're stretchy. How much y'all want to bet these are not going to fit me? They're a size medium, but I really wanted them. So I was like, because they're stretchy, I can probably squeeze my, my big ass into these, but. I don't know. I'm gonna try this on for y'all in a second. <laughs> oh, I got a jean jacket. 
This jean jacket was only $40 and it's dumb thick. Like, it's actually a really, really good jean jacket. Like, it's cute. I wanted to actually wear this with something like this outfit. Like, I would wear like a sweater and then add a jean jacket to it. So this is cute. A jean jacket. Can never go wrong with a nice oversized jean jacket. Travel days when you're on the plane or just a chill day when you want to, you know, add a jean jacket. You gotta add a jean jacket like people add parsley, okay? Let me add a jean jacket to this fit real quick. And then I got these chains. These are cute. Little cheap chains. You know Zara be having like cheap little jewelry to just dress up a shirt or an outfit. And then I got two plain white tees because I was looking in my closet the other day. I don't have any plain white t-shirts. Like I have a whole bunch of white like tank tops. But I needed a good white tee. And it's v-neck. I wanted a v-neck white tee. This is exactly what I wanted. I might go back and actually get all the colors because you cannot go wrong with a plain white tee. And they're only 10 bucks each. Oh, let me try these pants on and see if they fit. Y'all, let's cross our fingers. Would y'all come look at this? Remind me to stop trying to get a medium. I am not a medium. <laughs> so, remind me, Zara, my pants, I, I need a large. A large, okay? Boo-boo. <laughs> Boo-boo, what you trying to do? Run and rip these pants. Cause why couldn't y'all just have had a large? Now I gotta take stuff back. I hate taking stuff back. Fuck. That literally just made me break a sweat. I got some socks. Some Nike socks. These are cute. Like what am I gonna do with these long socks? I don't know, but I just picked them up. Okay, so I don't need any socks for a while. Hey guys, it's been a few days. I wanted to show you guys my new cut. Well, not a new cut, honestly. I just had to get my ends like chopped because they were so unhealthy. It is now, I got my hair done on Saturday. It's Monday, I haven't vlogged. Sorry guys, I'm gonna try to vlog these next few days too get you guys back up to speed. But yeah, so I cut my hair um, into a healthy little bob. My hair, like my ends were absolutely disgusting. And I took a vow to actually take care of my hair this go round because I always cut my hair off and then I try to let it grow back out but I don't take care of it. It hasn't been down my back since college. So I asked you guys yesterday for some good like regimens. What do you guys use to grow your hair? You guys gave me all types of goodies. So I'm actually headed to Target, but it looks much healthier now. I just wanna show you guys because I always wear my buns. So I want to take you guys on this healthy hair journey with me, it's only right. We're gonna get this hair nice and flowy and long back down my back, but I like this length. It's actually really cute. I love me a cute little bob, but um, yeah, that's what's new. We're gonna head to Target. I'm gonna get a crock pot because I woke up wanting a roast for dinner. So hair care products, crock pot, and I have to go get some groceries from Kroger's, and then we'll go to the gym a little later, so rest in peace to my blowout. I have no chemicals in my hair, so as soon as I start to sweat, it's gonna be like poof. So my bun will probably be back um, very soon. Ugh, it looks so much healthier. I wanna tell you guys, like my ends were like fried, dyed, and laid to the side. It was so bad, like it was so, 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 so bad. But we love health, health over length any day. So, okay, let's go. I got things to do. Hey y'all, oh, guess what I got? Crock pot. <laughs> I'm about to make this roast. So y'all, let me tell you, let me tell you. I did not make it to, why is it so dark from this angle? Cause the light is coming from this way. So I just came from, where did I go? Trader Joe's, Publix. Y'all told me not to shop at Publix cause it was more expensive, but it's closer to my house. Um, I did not make it to Target because I called my mom for this 
roast recipe that she makes. She told me it takes six to eight hours to make a roast. Eight hours and it's already two o'clock in the afternoon. So that means I won't be eating till at least 10 o'clock at night. So I was like, okay, I can't just be out here doing all this shopping when I can just come home, throw the roast in, prepare the roast so it can cook all day. And then I can go back to Target and then to the gym while it is cooking. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my God, I gotta cut the potatoes up. I gotta, y'all see my little ponytail back there just a swanging. I'm weak, it's so cute. Now, how many are you supposed to put in here? I'm gonna just put it all in here. I feel like less is not more in this situation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna cover this baby up. I need to call my mom, cause I don't know what settings I'm supposed to put this on. Does it even work? Okay, oh, it works. You know, I need to call my mom. I don't know what I'm doing. And you really not gonna answer in my time of need? Girl. Um, do I put just put this on low? Is it the crock pot or is it the The crock pot. High or low? Um, so yeah, you wanna put it on, uh, excuse me. You wanna put it on low so that it'll cook for several hours. Okay, and then do you fill the beef broth over the piece of meat itself? Yes. Yes. Okay, so put all of it in there, basically. Wait a minute, is that what it says? No, no that's what she just said. No, she didn't just say that. She said put the broth in there. She didn't say how much to put in there. What does the thing say? Beef broth. How much beef broth does it say put in there? It doesn't say put any beef broth. It says put one fluid? one fourth cup. How much how much stuff did you put in there? Maybe about three cups. That's a lot, right? Well I put you know what this thing is, Mom? What? Oh yeah, beef broth. Yeah. So you usually only put one fourth cup in there. Yeah, I wouldn't put you said you put three cups of that in there? Well I put like a lot of it. Cause it's gonna make its own juice. I mean, I ain't gonna do that. It's just oh, it's just gonna be a juice. lot of juice in there. Yeah. Okay, no worries. All right, I'm starting it now. All right. Okay, thank you. All right, good luck. Okay, bye. Bye. What would I do without my parents? All right. Put that baby on. What'd she say, y'all? Low? Low? Is it on? It says on. Is it on? I think we're in for a good treat later tonight, boys and girls. All right, okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. I had to zip up my jacket because it was just out and my dad was like, um, can you get your titties out the camera? <laughs> sorry, dad, sorry, sorry. So now I can do my floral, my weekly floral arrangements. This week I got some violet flowers, these are so pretty. Trader Joe's, y'all know, y'all know. So I'm gonna put my stuff together and then, do I wanna go to the gym or go to Target first? And so we have this week's floral arrangement. The roses and baby's breath. So pretty. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna get changed so I can go to the gym. <coughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Guys, so I just got back from the gym. I did an easy workout today. Just did a quick four miles. Um, I didn't do any lifting, I just did all cardio. So, that was easy and now I won't feel so bad about eating 
so late tonight. And yes, I drive to my gym, even though the gym is in my leasing office. Because I'm just lazy like that. So I got my workout in. Now I'm going to head to Target to go grab these hair products. And then I'm going to go home, take a shower, and do all that good stuff. Okay. So it's a few hours later. I just came back from Target. I took a shower. All the good stuff. Um, I'm going to show you guys the hair care products I got from Target because when I asked for advice, you guys said Miel. Miel was the most popular of all of the comments I got. So guess what? I want to go grab some Miel. Okay, so let me share these products with you. Miel Babasu Conditioning Shampoo. We got Miel White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. We got... Miel Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. Then last but not least, we got this good old handy dandy Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. And you guys have also been sending me like hair oils to my PO Box for me to check out. So along with these items, I'm gonna incorporate those hair oils and things and some more oils and things and some more conditioners and deep conditioners and things. I heard it's a lot, you guys. I heard it's I heard this hair care journey thing is just like a lot. So we shall start here. I'm probably gonna wash my hair tomorrow because it's already greasy. I've worked out a few times and it's greasy and I don't like that. So I'm gonna wash it. And then my dinner, like it smells good, but what time is it? It's nine o'clock. This is, I will never do this again. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's, what's today? Tuesday? It is Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, I didn't show you guys my food yesterday because I was so tired. I literally just ate, put my food away, and went to sleep. I was so over it, but it was good. It turned out really good. Um, I'm actually out and about running some errands. I was actually about to go get tested, STD tested. I don't think it should be like a taboo topic. Like you get tested after you have a sexual partner. I'm done with my last sexual partner, so I usually get tested when I'm done. Um, or even during, like, it, it's never a bad thing to get tested. I, I have to put my glasses up because this is a serious conversation. You know I'll be open with y'all. Um, it's good to get tested even while you're in a relationship. I do. I sneak off and go to the clinic because you never you, you never know, okay? And I'm in Atlanta. Like, Atlanta is no joke. Y'all know when it comes to the AIDS and the HIV. Chlamydia, gonorrhea is everywhere. So, I was going to go get tested. But, you know, rookie mistake. I pull up. To a free testing center thinking it's just gonna be oh in and out and there's like a line so i'm like okay i'm gonna come back tomorrow first thing and they're closing early so everyone can go vote did you guys vote um so yeah i'm just gonna i'm not waiting in this line like it's a nice day out but i have a lash appointment at three and it's already two o'clock so even if i wanted to wait I couldn't because your girl got about 10 lashes on each eye, honey, and that is just not cute. <laughs> I brought these pants to bring back to Zara, but I only have an hour. I feel like I can't make it in and out the mall in an hour. I can go get lunch, maybe. Yeah, there's mad people just waiting. Like, I'm going to come back when they first open tomorrow because this is just not it. I'm glad everyone's out, like, getting tested, though. I think that's a really cool thing. No one's ashamed to get tested. I know that's right. Um, but yeah, make sure you are with some cute guys there too. <laughs> now I'm just trying to pick up my next entanglement <laughs> at the clinic, child. Oh my God, put my glasses on. Oh my God. If you ain't nasty, don't. And if y'all start having sex with a new person unprotected, you should make them get tested before you have sex with them. I remember I tried to do this in college with um, someone and he was giving me such a hard time. Like, you dirty ass nigga, go get tested. Like, ew. Like, I cannot even believe it. Like, who puts up a in fight? In 2.7 miles, turn right. Who puts up Lennox a Road fight? Northeast. Like, who puts up a fight to go get tested? Like, you, you know how dirty you gotta be to, like, not want to get tested? Like, show me them papers, baby. Ew. Yeah, you know Shut my... up, Jacquees. Hey guys, I got my lashes filled. Thank the good Lord, because some things was looking scarce, 
baby. Is it scarce or scarce? How do you guys pronounce that word? Now I'm at the mall. I was not gonna come to the mall because I don't feel like coming to the mall. I'll never ever feel like coming to the mall. But since I was in the area, I'm gonna take these pants back and get something different. I'm gonna run in this mall really quick, in and out. And then I'm gonna head home. I always forget, I put my lip gloss on and then forget I have to put a mask on so I take it off. Okay. All right. In and out. In, 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 out. In, 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 and out. In, 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 and out. Now why is my camera this zoomed in? <gasps> I don't know how to get it zoomed out. This has never happened. I don't know, this is gonna have to do. So, <laughs> I made it back home. I'm about to make some banana bread because look at my bananas. Once again, have gone bad, but these are perfect for banana bread. The recipe calls for overripe bananas, which these are. So we're gonna whip that up. I guess I can open some P.O. Box packages for you guys. I haven't checked my P.O. Box in like two weeks. So the stuff I have in my house is the stuff that I checked a while ago. And then I'll go check my P.O. Box tomorrow and then we'll get some more stuff. But after I make my dessert, we shall get into that. I got a HelloFresh box. So excited, I have a collab with them in my next vlog. Oh, I love HelloFresh. So that's gonna be on my next vlog. Have you guys ever made this banana bread mix? It's Chiquita. I got it from Publix. Is it gonna be good? Just add bananas, water, and egg. Okay, let's do it. What's your motive? What's your motive? Ah. My waist is looking snatched. Ooh. I'm not bloated. I was bloated these past few days. My period's over. I can have my body back. Oh. After I eat this banana bread, I'm gonna be back bloated again. So good. I just love food, like it's so sad. Okay guys, we have a lot of PO box packages. You guys know I always do them at the end of a vlog, so so I'm gonna have all of these things linked in the description box for you guys. Cause a few of y'all asked in my last video, like, Lex, can you put this stuff in the description box? So I'm gonna try my best to put everything in at the description box so you guys can just see all the info there, like their Instagrams. And I'll try to link the products. But just know that's a lot of work. <laughs> no, that's a lot of work. Hey Alexis, AKA Skin the Lex. I wanted to send you some body butters for my skincare line called Luso by Lex. Oh period, hey Lex, hey Lex. We are black owned business and all products are handmade to ensure good quality and products to customers. The two cents I sent you are Love Lavin which is a relaxing soothe scent and also mango mai, the so mango meat, which has a tropical scent to it. Your subscribers can use the coupon code Alexis to get 15% off. I know you like to smell good and I hope you enjoy your Luso by Lex body butters. Okay, perfect, so she's gonna be linked down below. She sent me two body butters, yes! Ooh, they're so cute. They come in these little satin packages here. Aha, mango meat. Oh, this is a very sweet, fruity aroma, like for sure. Oh, and this body butter is more, I've had body butters that are more like whipped. This is a more of a, ooh, I like this. It's like hard, but then when you warm it up and like put it on, ooh. Wow, this mango meat, if you like fruity scents, for sure, this smells really, really fruity, very girly, I like that one. 
And this is Love and Lavin. So it's like a lavender scent. That's where the lavin comes from. Oh, and this smells like a lavender. It's like a soothing, it's like a soothing lavender scent. That's pretty too. I like both. I like lavender scents. That is nice. So these are both really nice scents. Very strong scents. Like you can, like it's something that if you put it on, you're going to walk past someone and they're going to definitely be like, oh, what do you have on? You smell nice. So guys, if you're into body butters, definitely check her out. These smell really good. Packages are very cute. Thank you very much, Lex. Lex, fellow Lex. Next we have, hello Skin Lex, my name is Yudonna. I'm one of your favorite subscribers. I started a small business this year called Hurry Up Hair. So I decided to send you two of my best sellers, Hair Growth Oil and Grandma's Touch Whipped Body Butter. So we have more body butters and I was talking about, you know, my hair growth journey. So I will be using all the oils and things you guys are sending me. Okay, so she sent me a hair growth oil. It's really thick. I'm not sure. It looks like there's like some type of coconut oil or something in this. Mm, but you guys have to check that out. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm going to be using all types of different oils and stuff. And then a body butter. Oh, this smells good. And this is the, this is like a whipped kind. So the other ones were like harder. This is more of a whipped body butter. They both smell. This is like a lemon scent it smells really good so i have some hair oil and some new body butter from hurry up hair thank you so much oh this is cute it comes with a little spoon to dip out the body butter and spread it all over you thank you very much oh y'all ever had y'all um body suit just pop like you was just mad at your business and it just pops and it feels like <laughs> Cause you know it'd be like down in between your cheeks and then when the button pops it just feels mad weird. <laughs> anyway, next package. Okay, okay, okay. Hey sis, thank you for giving us the opportunity to share our products with you. We are Faye, fashion accessories you enjoy, F-A-Y-E. A black woman owned e-commerce store providing quality and affordable accessories. Inside your Faye package, you will find some items I think you'd enjoy. You can let your followers know that they can use the code SCANDALEX20 for a free gift. We're excited to see you show off your style while staying bougie on a budget. Yes. <laughs> Not the Cuban. Okay, this is cute as hell. Super, super cute. I can dress that up with a hoodie or something real bougie like. Oh, this is cute as hell. I'm actually gonna try it on now because I love chunky necklaces for sure. Yes, honey, that is bougie on a budget. That is cute. I guess I love thick necklaces, so that's really cute. I'm gonna keep that on for the rest of this haul, baby. Then she sent me an A necklace. That's cute. Oh, you sent me a lot of stuff. Okay, we have all types of stuff in here. And we have two pairs of gold earrings. I do like big earrings. There we go. <laughs> so these are the pretty earrings she sent me. Ah, Cancer Gang. And then she sent me a Cancer hair clip. Come on, Cancer Gang. Love it. And glasses. There's so much stuff in here. You guys have to check her out. She probably has all of the cute accessories. For the low okay some cute glasses these are cute i can see me wearing these with like a pink bikini or something on the beach come on come through this is really cute thank you for all these accessories and oh and a keychain i'm gonna add this to my keychain it says black girl magic so cute i'm gonna put that right on my keychain for sure thank you thank you thank you hey alexis oh nice penmanship you have some really good cursive. I wish my I wish my penmanship in general was just good. This looks like my mom's writing. Hey Alexis, congrats on your new move. Your progress has been amazing. I know you're really into self-care. And I sent over some items I think you would enjoy. Cosmetics by King will be expanding soon with candles, perfume, and much more. Thank you, King. Ooh, Yanni Seam. Oh my god, you guys. If you've been watching since the beginning, I got a Yanni Steam a few months back and I actually was looking into getting another one because it's just time. They say it's good to do a steam after partners, like after anything. So this is a Yanni Steam. If you guys are not familiar with it as a woman, do your research. These Yanni Steams are the truth. Thank you very much. 
I will definitely be using this Yanni steam out. And then we have whipped body butter. So this is African vanilla. My name must be really loud up there. I don't know what they be doing. This is African vanilla, sweet flowers, and musk. I love anything vanilla. Y'all know me. Mm, I love vanilla. Oh, yes. Oh my God, this smells so good. Y'all, anytime I'm done with these hauls, I always be smelling like all types of different stuff because y'all send me so much stuff that smells good. African vanilla, I like that. Shoot, take me back to my roots. And then this is a Shea Body Scrub which is also African vanilla and sweet flowers. Woo. Mm, it smells the same, but it's just in a sugar scrub form. You know, I have like a million scrubs. I'd be in my shower at night really going in. Y'all should see me at night or after I leave the gym. Like I really be in there like using all my scrubs. It's crazy. And then this is really cute. Okay, this is a lip gloss. Look how cute that lip gloss is. It's very pink. Oh, it's pretty. It's a nice pink color. Come on, I like this. Thank you so much. And it smells good, it smells like strawberries. So thank you for everything. The body scrub, the body butter, the lip gloss, and the Yanni steam. I can't wait to try this out. Check them out guys, Cosmetics by King. This is Crowned Beauty, Crowned Beauty. Okay, so she sent me all types of stuff too. Okay, woo. Hey girl, first let me say I love your channel. My best friend told me about you and since I've been a huge fan, Crown Beauty is a one-stop shop for all things beauty in your package. I've included items from my Autumn Nights collection. There is our Burgundy Gloss, Scarlet Night, she smells like red velvet, Cuddle Up, and she's brown sugar scented. Ooh, I love that. I've also included our Apple of My Eye Apple pie scented body scrub in our sweet embrace whip body butter i hope that you love and enjoy these products your subscribers may use the code lex b for money off so guys i'm already excited because there's more body scrubs and more body butters my skin is gonna be so soft okay so this is sweet embrace oh my god she gave me now and laters don't play with me i love now and laters that just threw me all the way off because now I can't focus. I have not had a now and later and I don't even remember. Okay. So sweet embrace with body butter. See, I can't even open it because I have so much stuff on my hands. Mmm. Yes, honey, this smells so good. I love this whip body butters. I like both. I like the whip ones and I like the harder ones. These whip ones are so good. Oh, and this is the apple of my eye exfoliating sugar body scrub apple pie scent oh my gosh how fitting oh my god that smells like the holiday season for real it smells so good this smells like something straight out of like bath and body works for sure so if you're in like apple pie scents y'all in a good body scrub check her out Oh, that is so cute. Like the package comes with like little leaves inside. Oh, there's so many now and laters in here. And then two cute lip glosses. Can you guys see those colors? Like, it's like a mauve color. Such fall colors, I love them. Can't wait to try them out. So cute, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Check her out, Crown's Beauty. So next we have Flopod. I already think I'm gonna like this because this is so different so this is what they look like comes in a box like this and you can open them up and i'll tell you guys exactly oh and i can tell you guys exactly what they are but that this is what they look like so these are called flow pods for centuries females have been disposing their tampons one or two ways wrapping it with tissue or flushing it down the toilet, which is literally what I used to do. And my mom actually used to make us wrap them in magazine paper because she didn't want us wasting the toilet paper on our tampons. So that's how we had to wrap ours. So Flow Pods was designed to give every female a discreet and sanitary way to dispose their tampons, thin pads, and panty liners. This is such a good idea. Oh my gosh. So basically it's a black little capsule that you open up and then you can dispose of your tampon right in here 
put the cap back on and then just throw it in the toilet that is so sanitary so sleek i love this and it comes with one two three four five six seven eight nine it comes with 18 so that's definitely enough for like an entire period cycle oh my goodness i think that's such a good idea for sure i actually might put these in my feminine hygiene routine that i'm about to record because this is great for feminine hygiene tampons a great way to dispose of your tampons instead of flushing them or wrapping them that is so that's such a good idea flow pods guys you have to check these out and it's black owned like i'm all here for it i love this idea for sure dispose the mess but you're gonna dispose the mess discreetly okay what is next what's next so, Iman Yvette, clothing for baddies, all shapes and sizes. Hello. This is cute. Is this a headscarf or like a head wrap? This is so cute. Hey Alexis, my name is Bradley, Bradley Yvette. And I subscribed to you recently and your energy is so beautiful. I love how authentic you are and how you use your platform to help small black businesses. I am inspired by you and your work ethic. Thank you. When I come to ATL next year, we have to link. Let's link up. Keep being you, keep going for your goals, and remember the sky's the limit. Amen, thank you. Bradley from LA, come on LA. That is a pretty head wrap for sure. I love it, thank you. I'm big on like head wraps and scarves, especially in the fall, in the winter time. Ooh, that's gonna be cute with my long hair. I can wear some earrings like this, okay. Thank you, that's really cute. Thank you. Bella Pink Neon Dress. Oh, what? This looks like it's gonna be, it's cute. <laughs> but oh my God. This is really cute. Thank you. I don't own anything neon, but I can add this to my collection. This is so cute. Thank you. I love how stretchy and comfortable it's gonna be, even though it's like, tight oh this is cute this is just oh i love i love me a good nude crop top this is cute as well and it comes down and it has like a little point should i put this on too this is a small oh, i love oh i like that i can still wear this even though it's like fall winter now because i can just wear like a jacket over it Thank you, I really love this crop top. Wow, this is called the Totally Geo Top in a size small. I really like this top and it's so stretchy. It's like good quality too. And then we have lashes, 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 lashes. You can never have too many lashes. So these are the West Coast lashes. And these are the Star Baby lashes. Very dramatic, giving very dramatic. Love it. Thank you for all the goodies, for sure. Guys, check him out. Iman Yvette. Y'all sent me some pills? Someone sent me some pills. I thought they were pills and they are not pills. That is so funny. They're actually lashes that come in this cute, this cute little container. So there is two pairs of lashes here oh so these are supposed to be like wine glasses bubbly duh the bubbly bar bubbly champagne i think that's what i think that's what it is hold on but it's so cute packaging is everything for me comes with two pairs of lashes and of course you cannot go wrong with a good eyelash brush. This is so cute. It's such a cute idea. Look at her business card. I love a good business card. That's so cute, guys. Check her out, the Bubbly Bar on Instagram. Of course, everything is gonna be linked below. And then she also sent me 90s baby glasses. Oh, and she sent me lip gloss. She sent me mad stuff. So she sent me some little glasses. Ooh, I'm like a school teacher important with these glasses on those are cute those are cute okay 90s babies glasses and then more lip glosses i'm never going to be out of lip glosses oh this is called pussy fairy we have pussy fairy it's 
it's like a shiny brown look like a and then we have romance romance if you guys can see that this is romance and then there's another of this it's like a deeper brown it's called bear I love a good brown gloss. Let me actually try this on. That's pretty, it's not as brown as I thought, which is good because sometimes it can look crazy. That's pretty. Ooh, that looks pretty. That's bare. Thank you for the lashes, for the lip gloss, for everything. Guys, check her out. Alexis, I appreciate the love and support you show small business on your channel. So I decided to send you a few items from my online store. I followed you on social media since your college days and always thought you were a beautiful person inside and out. Seeing you grow into the person you are becoming is very inspirational to me and others. I hope you enjoy these items as much as I enjoy your videos, Jojo. Thank you. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Jojo. Thank you so much, Jojo, guys. Go check her out. Go check her small business out, okay? We love a good small business. And last but not least for this time, for this time, ooh, would you send me a hat? I love hats. I love hats. Hey, queen, the team over at the February Monarchy loves watching your videos. You embody what our brand stands for, so we sent you a crown. Please enjoy our free The Queen's Dad Hat. Check us out on Insta, the February Monarchy. Be you and be free. Come on. Thank you so much. Yes. We all love a good black hat, but look who's on that hat. A queen. Okay. Come on. I like that. You guys know I love me a good hat. Yes, yes, yes. I've been needing me a black hat. I don't have like a plain black hat. That is cute. Thank you guys so much. Check their hats out. I'm sure when I take this off, it's gonna be a mess. Thank you guys so much. Check them out. Everything is gonna be linked in the description box below. So if you see anything from this haul that you like, check my description box. Everything should be down there, including their websites and instagrams thank you guys as always for sending me stuff to my p.o box and i think i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog off here guys it's been nice um if you made it all the way to the end and you did not subscribe to my channel like do you want to fight like let's just square up like for real <laughs> because what are you doing but i mean it's cool whatever make sure you leave a like leave a comment follow me on all social media and i will see you guys on my next vlog see you guys next time